30 p.m. Chicago Central Time. This is the uh, one year anniversary of my mom's death. She died March 28, 2011, uh, 2 38 p.m. Chicago Central Time. And you know, I went to my mom's funeral today, but anyway, you know, I got this letter yesterday, another letter from the ultimate letter writer, Kyle J. Sukenik, who can't write, he's got a print. I'm only saying this because I'm frustrated with him. I've tried to help him, I've sent him tapes. I made him an extra copy of his movie to preserve it, a DVD copy. I figured either him or his, quote, partners that he talks so proudly about, I got partners. Yeah, well, okay. Well, if you got partners, how come they can't make you an extra copy of your movie? And how come you got one stinking VHS of your movie laying around your house? One copy. You know, if you're a filmmaker, you're supposed to have extra copies of your stuff. You don't have to have one copy and then send it to me and ask me to edit your movie for you. And telling me what to call my next movie. Call your next movie Blood of Alien Beast. Call your next movie Alien Beast 4 or blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm not making your movies. I'm making my movies. I'm making Dinosaur Woman and Demon Monster from Outer Space and Monsters from Space, my next movie. And I've only made that out of all my frustration of you asking me to help you do your movie. So I made my own movie, Monsters from Space. And by the way, that's copyrighted by David Rock Nelson because that's my idea. I'm only saying that to Carl and his, quote, partners because they think their movies are so great. Carl tells me, oh, your movies are better than mine by leaps and bounds. Well, my movie, yeah, of course, because I work hard on them. And I don't, I don't just uh, keep the camera rolling and have these 15, 20, 30 minute spaces of black before the movie starts up again. That's not good editing. Editing's supposed to be tight. The scenes go together. And you don't keep the camera running for like 20 minutes on the same thing. You have to edit. You have to edit different stuff, otherwise people get bored. I don't want to just sit there and watch you talking to your sister or your girlfriend for 20 minutes. It's too stinking long. You know, you gotta keep the kid. You gotta get close-ups, and you can't have fighting scenes from across the street like it did in Alien Beast, where they're fighting in front of your house, and you keep the camera running for like 15, 10 minutes, and you're pretending to do kung fu, the, the worst fighting I've ever seen. But it's a funny movie. I enjoyed your first Alien Beast. It was funny. But man, you know, you have to work on that editing, man. And I'm telling you. And now you're asking me to do a movie for you. Yeah, edit the movie, and you're telling me what the scenes to put in. Hey, it's not my movie. You're supposed to do that. If you're a filmmaker, you're supposed to do that. You have to pay the price. Otherwise, it's not your movie. And then you're getting credit for something you didn't do. You're going to have to get off your ass and start cranking out movies. If you're a filmmaker, you're supposed to try. And don't give me this excuse, well, my VCR broke down. My camcorder broke down. Well, then get another one, by God. They got them out there. They got other VHS cameras. There was one I saw... And I a, a nurse at a um, church rummage sale for like five bucks. But the only thing was that was a little bit it, missing a part, whatever, a little messed up. I didn't buy it, thank God. But you can get ones that work cheap. I mean, I got an eight millimeter camera for fifty bucks in great condition. A guy sold it to me. Actually, it was sixty bucks. I gave him more than he should have got. But anyway, but point is. You know, I have an extra camera, and I got another extra camera for like 10 bucks, 4 bucks from a friend of mine that her husband had one. So, and VCRs are still out there. Go to um, Cook Brothers in Chicago. You can get a brand new VCR DVD combo. Get a DVD VCR combo. You can edit your movies onto VHS with that. It's got an extra DVD thing so you can start watching DVDs. You better learn how to watch DVDs, Carl, because this is a new times, and it's a time of DVD. I had to learn that too. I still edit on a VHS. I still edit the old fashioned way from camcorder to VHS, VCR. I edit on the VHS. They still make VHS tapes and they still make VCR DVD combos. You can tape on the VHS and you can edit your movies on video. And then you can make yourself a DVD copy with a DVD recorder. They're only like 50 bucks. They got them at Walmart. But now you're telling me, oh, somebody broke into my apartment in this new letter and stole all my stuff. And my friend Joe, he won't give me back the DVD, and he, I think he's going to keep it and sell copies himself and make money himself. And you call these guys your, quote, partners? You need some new partners. You need some more friends, better friends. You better choose your friends wisely. That's my message to you, Carl J. Sukenik. You're a nice guy, but, man, get in your apartment robbed and all this. All these things happen to you. 
This is ridiculous. Like, a week after I send you the tape, you tell me, Oh, someone broke into my apartment. Help me, David Rock Nelson. Why don't you help yourself and quit trusting people so much? Don't give them the only DVD copy that I made for you extra for free. Now you're going to have to pay me five bucks so I can buy a VHS and postage to send it to you. That's going to cost me five bucks at least. Last time I sent it for free, I haven't made you an extra copy for free, but no more freebies because that's costing money out of my pocket. You're going to have to pay for that blank VHS. I can get you one for about two, three bucks. And a postage, I'm going to do it media mail this time because it's cheaper. So I'll send you, I'll, you send me five bucks and I'll send it. I'm not making a profit. I'm just coming out even. That's to cover my expense of sending you the tape and making it for you. Time and effort of making you another copy. Thank God I made myself one extra copy. And you know why? Just in case something like this happened. I figured I better make myself an extra copy in case Carl's tape gets lost or stolen. It's preserved. Because I have a feeling something like this could happen. And that's why I did it for you. To safeguard and preserve your movie. So if you need an extra copy, you can come to me. But you're going to have to pay me five bucks for a blank tape and a postage. Okay, I'll see you. God bless you, though. Yeah. You better get it together. Crank out movies yourself. Quit asking other people to make your movies for you. you know, get off your butt and make movies.